Hey everyone, so this is going to be a test to see how long it takes to fully charge a smartphone using two different types of cables. So the first type of cable is just a regular micro USB cable uh, that I'm sure all you are familiar with. And it is using a quick charge 2.0 wall adapter. And then the second one is a newer USB type C cable. And it is using the LG uh, wall adapter that the Nexus 5X ships with. So the two phones are the Xperia Z5 Compact, and this is with the standard USB cable. And then USB Type-C is the Nexus 5X. And both of these phones have the same capacity battery, both have 2700 mAh. So it should be pretty even matchup. Now with this, I'm just going to charge both of them at the same time. All right, and both at 0%. I'm going to start up the timer. All right, so you see 0%. And next is 5X. Not sure, it actually might not say it on a Nexus 5X. Well, you know what I'll do in that case? I'll just turn both of the phones on. And I'll just show you that they're both, well you already know this is on 1% now. Uh, the Nexus 5X should be at about 1%. And I'll just put both of them on uh, airplane mode. So you see there, 2% for the Z5 Compact. And 2%. Alright, so I'm going to check in and the 15 minute mark. Alright, so now we're closing in on the 15 minute mark. And the Z5 Compact is at 16%. And then the USB Type C with the or with the uh, rather Nexus 5X, 22%. So right off the bat, we're definitely seeing an improvement uh, with the USB Type C cable over the standard. Uh, micro USB cable with the quick charge 2.0 adapter and uh, so I'll check in again in 15 minutes All right, so checking in right now to 30 minute mark And the Z5 compact is at 31% and just so you guys know it is on airplane mode uh, I put them both on airplane mode right after I turned them on And then the 5X, if we're at the focus, 46%. Yeah, so very impressive with the USB Type-C. Uh, and I'll check in again at the one hour mark. All right, so just hit the one hour mark. And the Z5 Compact with the standard USB charging cable is at 67% and the Nexus 5X is 82%. Uh, I'm gonna check in again at e in either 30 minutes or if the Nexus 5X uh, hits 100%, whichever comes first. All right, so we're now one hour and a half in And the Z5 Compact looks to be at 93%. And the Nexus 5X is at 97%. So the last 10% definitely takes the longest. Uh, but you are seeing the Z5 Compact catching up. So, um... 
Yeah, I think within the next 30 minutes, both of these phones will be finished. And once that happens, I'll let you know. Alright guys, so at 1 hour and 44 minutes, the Nexus 5X has just hit 100%. And you see here, the Z5 Compact is at 98%. So the Z5 Compact really closing the gap here, uh, and I'll provide an update once that's done. All right, so one hour and 54 minutes, the Z5 Compact just finished 100%. So again, now is one hour 44 minutes for the Nexus 5X, which has the uh, Type-C USB, and then one hour 54 minutes for the Xperia Z5 Compact, which has a standard USB charging cable, with that um you or rather quick charge 2.0 adapter so yeah what we saw is that the nexus 5x got off to a pretty fast start uh it was up 15 percent for most of the first hour but then uh kind of started to tailor off after that the z5 compact started catching up um the usb type c ended up being faster overall by 10 minutes but not a huge gap so yeah the usb type c ended up being faster uh, but not by a huge margin, and again, most of that was in the first 30 minutes to an hour, and that was 1 hour 44 minutes for USB Type-C versus 1 hour 55 minutes for standard USB charging cable with Quick Charge 2.0. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, oh, and one last thing, remember that both the phones were on, so if you have the phones off, it should be quicker. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or comments.